Hey everyone, so today we're talking about IK Multimedia's um, T-Rex 5 plugin suite, uh, which I've been using for a couple of years now. Um, they were kind enough to send me a copy of the suite uh, for review a little while back. Um, and I reviewed it uh, some time ago, uh, but I wanted to come back to it here uh, just to kind of pick up on the things that I like about it most and the things that I use most. And I have a lot of analog modeling plugins because obviously because I get them through work, um, reviewing them and such like. Uh, and it's the T-Rex ones that I come back to over and over and over and over again. Now, obviously, I use Harrison Mixbus, so a lot of that is already there. But when I need to either work in another workstation for political reasons, whatever, um, or, you know, finish a project someone else is doing, um, I tend to go with the T-Rex plugins. Um, uh, you know, there is a saturator that I also like from a company called Mellow Muse, uh, but T-Rex takes most of my plugin inserts Um uh, for, for you know practical use. So we're going to look at uh, EQ73 today, which is this plugin, and it kind of looks a bit like a Neve 1073, a lot like a Neve 1073, and it sounds a lot like one as well. Um, yeah, so let's have a listen to this uh, snare that I have uh, put this on. So this is without uh, without any. Yeah, let's take the EQ off here. There's no compression on this snare now. So let's have a listen to that. And that's the snare. Okay, so pretty simple kind of basic snare sound. Um, so what we're gonna do with it, well, let's, you know, see what the uh, EQ73 can do. So first things first, I wanna look at saturation. So I'm gonna play this back and then sort of crank up the the input gain you can even use the mic input level And I'm just trimming, so it's more or less the same volume. You know, I think I think I want to keep keep it here um, for the for the sake of this track. Okay, cool. So, yeah, sorry, online. I think maybe go one more. So normally, what you would do uh, when you're in, in a studio recording on a 1073, um, if you've not experienced them, usually what I do anyway is I crank the gain it's a stepped gain pot um well a stepped gain selector actually i don't think it's a pot as such um and you crank it clockwise until you get your signal and then you see it start to peak and then you hear it start to peak and then you pull back one notch uh, and that's usually gives a good controlled sound um that's the sort of general rule of thumb so for eq i'm going to just high pass at 160 so that gives me a yeah, for you this side, um, it gives me uh, a, a essentially, you know, a cut off of all the frequencies that we don't need. And then I'm just going to give it a little boost around 220. So have a listen to this. Without EQ. Can you hear the, the oomph that it brings into it? I'm going to pull out a little bit around 0.7. Obviously, I've already experimented with these settings, so I'm not just sort of randomly picking. And then um, just add a bit of top shelf. So without the EQ and without the saturation, and then with the EQ and saturation, So yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, sorry, I'll leave it in. Um, so I mentioned before that there's some stuff you can do regards the um, stereo modes, and I want to show you that. I'm going to show you on the electric guitars. Um, so I'm just going to pull this in again. Um, if you prefer working with 
Mac VST if you're a Mac user. Mac VSTs also work on Harrison Mix Bus, uh, and you get the VSTs and the R RTAS and the AAX and all that kind of stuff, I think. I'm not sure if they ship RTAS anymore, actually, but, you know, it should work on your system, whatever you've got. So, um, yeah, let's have... Let's add a bit of sparkle to these electric guitars. So um, let's run these electric guitars. I'm just going to mute out the vocals and the keys for now. Um, run the electric guitars and you can hear what they sound like. Okay, so if we're going to mid-side mode, and I push the sides, the, the high ends of the sides, you'll get this sort of high frequency in the very outer area of the stereo panorama. And it almost widens it a bit, but without being too intrusive. I'm gonna put a filter on there. And I can even pull it down in the middle, which would give me room for vocals. So with, out. Okay, so you get the general idea that essentially, you know, you're using the preamp stage to do some clipping, add some harmonics, you're using the EQ in a, in a kind of, well, in this situation, I'm using the EQ quite in an interesting way to kind of carve out space in the center. Um, so we don't have so many high frequencies in the center and the high frequencies of the vocal, which is in the center can sort of not be masked because that's really what we're talking about doing a mix. So this is just one example of a practical application of um, of use of EQ73. Uh, I really like it. Yeah, come check it out. Um, I'm not paid to do this or anything. Um, this is just me saying I really like IK Multimedia's uh, plugins. Uh, so I'm going to do some more on other plugins in the suite because they deserve it, I think, and they're, they're often not thought about, and they're really good plugins. So... Uh, okay, um, I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye. Hey, I see what you did. Thanks for subscribing.